Step one, gather ingredients. So I've got fish and some vegetables. I went for rye flour because when I read the recipe I figured something like a kind of pumpernickel style, really dense bread sounded suitably joyless. So I'll look at this salt fish. So I reckon that needs to be soaked for a while. Very interesting smell. Doesn't necessarily smell like it should be in bread. Not really sure how much of this stuff to use. I do really feel like the fish should be the star of the show for this this um, <laughs> bread recipe. Okay, so while that fish is still soaking, it doesn't have too much longer to go. I've been preparing the vegetables now. The rest of the, the um, item description does not say what sort of vegetables. Yeah, I've got some peas, some broccoli, some cauliflower, carrots, and a bit of parsnip as well. So, um, yeah, that can all go in there. Very nutritionally balanced. So I'm just going to bloom the yeast a bit. Normally, we'd use a, a lot more water than that, but I'm thinking the vegetables are going to be quite moist, so probably don't want to use too much. Uh, also, I'm going to stick some honey in it, because yeast loves sugar and to be fair in this recipe I reckon it's gonna need all the health it can get. A couple of teaspoons of yeast I'm just gonna... Okay cool so while the yeast is blooming I figured I'd sort out the vegetables. Um, it says in the description that they're pulverized so I'm gonna do it in this food processor attachment. Um, if you don't think that's in the spirit of uh, traditional chalet and cookery then this can be an ancient Allegan pulverizer that Sid just made work with magic like he always does. That can go in bread. So I have added the pulverized vegetables to this stand mixer bowl. Again, if you think stand mixers aren't traditional, just assume it's Deus Ex Magitech. And our yeast is really poofy. So. I'm just going to kind of mix this all together and then put in some flour, hopefully get something that vaguely resembles a dough. Yeah, that's the vegetables and the yeast mixture, all in there with around about, I don't know, some flour. <laughs> that doesn't look good. I'm just going to try and combine it, see what happens. So we're just going to let this dough ball rest a bit. Uh, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, about as much time as it would take to run Praetorium. Switch back to the ancient Allegan pulverizer. The fish should be suitably hydrated. I'm just going to pulse it up and uh, enjoy the sticky paste that, that is likely to result. Ooh, crikey. Um, that is a smell only a Charlayen could love. It's actually more moist than I'd expected. Good job we made the dough really stiff. Um, this might actually work for some completely bonkers definition of work. It actually looks like it's risen. I didn't expect anything about this to go right. So I guess the next stage really is to incorporate all of that pulverized fish. That'll be great. Well, I've incorporated all the fish, pressed it into this, this loaf tin. I'm not sure whether that dough has any rise left in it. Isn't yeast marvellous? <laughs> Doesn't quite look as pretty as Tatari's version, but um, I'm going to stick it in the oven and see what comes out. It does look loafish. Lumpy and gross, but but loafish. Let's have a smell. Kind of smells like bread with a load of fish in it. Normally when you bake something, the hardest part is getting it out of the oven and waiting for it to cool before you dig in, but um, with this one I don't think I'm going to have that much of a problem with it. Da 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 <laughs> That actually kind of looks like the Arcod loaf from the game. Ah, oh, I really hope Tataru would be proud of me. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of tastes exactly like a sum of its parts. It's like a pretty dense bread with some fish in it. <laughs> it is not great. Might be alright fried or something? Yeah, Charleans are bloody idiots. 